To show the belief that I have in uh, Professor Spiegel's punctual system, I am perfectly willing to submit uh, my daughter Angela. Great. Papa, who is this man? Lady, my name is Tweedlepunch, Anthony Tweedlepunch, phonologist and scientist. Make hard, if you please. That is taken in the dole queue, you see. But which are you? Ah, you cannot see me. I'm inside getting the doings. <laughs> now, my dear, we shall see whom nature intended you to marry. I know already. Shall I answer? Is it safe? Certainly. Do as Papa wishes you to, like a good little girl. Certainly, my dear. Certainly do as I tell you. Now, please, lady, will you remove your hat? Science ought to be above such trifles. Science is above most trifles, but phrenology lies beneath the hat. Well, thank you what so you think much. Of me? Mr. Gilfane, a charming child. Affection stands out like a policeman's mitt, corroborated on the other side. And I see domesticity developed also. What a cook, yo yo, what a cook, what a matzo mixer. And I see affection stands out like a watermelon. Good <laughs> gracious. <laughs> he seems to be a good judge of character. After all, I'll keep your photograph. Thank you. Very few do, but there it is. What is, uh, Mr. Gilfane, may I point out to you, this child be so innocent, thoroughly innocent as she is, must marry a man of integrity and business honesty. Hello? Therefore, what is the next one? Hmm? My head clerk. Oh, yes. Abercoy. Oh, yes. Uh, the Lord oh, under the cloud. Um, Madame, sir. Uh, Mr. Head Clerk, would you put your head clerk and your clerk's head here in this receptacle? Would Certainly you? not, sir. No science on earth would compel me to marry where I didn't love. Oh, 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 do try, Mr. Abercoy. It doesn't hurt. No. Come along, my boy. Have a dash. Thank you, I don't mind. Are they open? Oh, I have one. <laughs> oh, very well, then. But your decision will not affect mine. My dear sir, uh, allow me. Fifteen two, fifteen four. side pockets and shoulders raised. Yes, yes, yes. A great brain here, Mr. Gilfine. I see a man of strong personality, a man who would scorn convention, a man who would wear horsehair pajamas in August. Automatically suited to be your son-in-law. Splendid, Professor, splendid. Wonderful.